So welcome back guys to another video on Kids Coding Playground. Today we'll be finishing up the saving the turkey game. So we'll be working on the coin and the baby turkey and the you win sprite today. So before we move on, I'm just gonna like um, go through these two sprites, the target and the bat we did in the last video. So this is the code for the target. And this is the code for the bat. So I'm gonna scroll a little bit slowly. This and that. Okay, so this is the bat code, and today we'll be working on the coin. So let's rename this sprite to coin, and then we're gonna work on the coin. So let's uh, remember we had the variable coin shot, so we're gonna finally use it right now. So that's a detect if the coin's being shot. So what the coin is supposed to do is like when you shoot the coin, um, it's supposed to give you points. So we're gonna start in the coin by getting a when green flag is clicked. We're gonna get a set the coin shot to zero. And then after setting the coin shot to zero, get a forever loop. If the coin shot is equal to zero, that means it's not being shot. So coin shot right here, coin shot is equal to zero. We're gonna go to random position and we're gonna switch the costume to pick random one to five since we have five costumes. So let me show you real quick. So right here, one to five costumes. We have the one, one point coin, the two points coin, three points coin, five points coin, and eight points. So these different coins can give you different values of score. So um, we're gonna make this switch costume one to five, and then we're gonna show it. And after that, we're gonna wait two seconds before doing it again so wait two seconds for good measure and then after that we're gonna do something here so let's go to the top um uh so get a um broadcast message right here when i receive shot fire so this is when you shoot a bullet if the coin shot is equal to zero meaning it is not being shot yet so coin shot equal to zero Coin shot right here, and then and if it's, if touching, if touching mouse pointer, and if mouse down, if mouse down. So if the mouse is on the coin plus clicking it, then we will set the coin coin hit uh, coin shot to one. Set the coin shot. Um, coin shot to one. I'm oh, sorry, not Q. One. And after that, you want to broadcast another message. We're going to call it hit coin. Hit. Hit coin. So, and then after broadcasting the message, we want to receive it right here. So, when I receive coin, hit coin, then we're going to um, start a sound. So, I just got this. And just play the pop sound, I guess. Start the sound pop, hide, then get an if then statement. So if the costume number is equal to one, costume number is equal to one. So right here, costume number equals to one, then we're gonna change the score by one. We're gonna change it to the appropriate uh, costume. So the um, score, where is it? Oh, right here. So, score to one. We can just duplicate this, put it under here. If the costume number is equal to two, we're gonna change it. Uh, we're gonna change the score by the appropriate two, two score. And then let's duplicate all of this again. So, right here. Okay, so if the costume number is equal to three, then we're gonna change the score by three. If the costume number is four, we're gonna change the score by four. And then, oh, we don't have a four. I think we have like a five. So we have one, two, three, and five. So one, two, three, five, and eight. So after the five, we're gonna duplicate this one last time to get the eight. The costume number equals eight. We're gonna change the score by eight. <clears throat> so this is the code for the hit coin. After that, we wanna broadcast another message. We're gonna name it check the score, check score. 
Let's name it Check Score. And after that, we want to wait two seconds. And then after that, we want to broadcast another message called Create Coin again. So you're going to wait two seconds before creating a new coin. Create Coin again. Create the coin again. So this is a code for the hit coin. And then we're going to receive the message Create Coin again. Create coin again. We're gonna set the coin shot to zero, meaning it is not being shot at. So coin shot to zero. Okay, so now we are finished with the coin. So now when you shoot the coin, you'll get the appropriate score. So as you can see, I am getting score every time I'm shooting the coin. Uh, and shooting bats will still work. So eight score, as you can see, I got eight score. So yeah, so the coins are working for now. So let's work on the um, baby turkey now. So let's go to the baby tur turkey sprite. So I'm gonna get a one green flag clicked. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. I'm gonna go to negative, I'm gonna go to 10, 10, negative 85. That's what I did on my other projects. So we're gonna wait two seconds before starting and then so this weight is to like prevent the bat. So like, let's say you shoot the bat, and then it's dead already, but it's gonna hit the turkey. We don't want it to take any damage, so you don't lose any score. So that's why we're gonna do wait two seconds. And then we're gonna put a forever loop. <clears throat> if the bat shot, we need an and. So if the bat shot is equal to zero, bat shot equals to zero, uh, and touching bat, so if it's touching the bat and the bat is still alive, then we want to broadcast a message, wait, where is it, uh, touching bat, then we want to broadcast a message and wait, wait until the action is finished, that's why we need to wait, so we're going to broadcast turkey hit, hit turkey, I guess, hit turkey, and then right here, we're going to get a one green flag clicked again, so we're gonna make the turkey glide around randomly. So we're gonna get a forever loop. Glide. Um, we're gonna keep the y, y axis the same, but we're gonna make it glide three seconds. And we're gonna make it glide from negative 170 to 170. So pick random, negative 170 to 170. Like that. So next we wanna uh, receive the hit turkey. So when I receive, hit turkey, in here. then we're going to say ouch for like one second, letting the player know the turkey is being hit, so say ouch for one second, we're going to get an if-else statement, if the score is greater than three, if the score is greater than three, the score is greater than three we're gonna change the score by negative three else we're gonna just set the score to zero because if you have less than um three points we don't want to go negative points so that's why we're gonna just set the score to zero and else set the score to zero and then we're gonna wait another two seconds down here okay so after you finish with that let's work on the winning and losing so for the winning and losing, let's go here. Get a one green flag clicked. We want to hide. Um, and we have two costumes. One that says you win, and the other one says you lose. So let's see. Um, so when let's go to events. From the coin, we have the check score. We broadcast the check score here. So we're gonna finally need it right here. So when I receive check score, if the score is greater than or equal to 20, so you only need 20 points to win. So, if the score is greater than or equal to, so the variables, score, score, score is greater than 20 or equal to 20, exactly. I want to switch the costume to the winning uh, costume, this one. And then after that, we're going to make it go to the front layer. And then we're gonna show it. And then stop all. 
just because they won. Okay, so when I receive shot fired, we're gonna go over here. When I receive shot fired, so like when you're shooting, and if the bullet counter is equal to zero, that means you ran out of bullets. Equal to zero. So the bullet uh, counter is equal to zero, then we want to switch the costume to lose. So once you lose all your bullets, you will lose. We're gonna make it go to the front layer and show and then go to control and get a stop ball okay so now we have the winning and losing okay and for these two we're just gonna add a little bit code so for this one the score we're gonna go to or green flag click we want to hide it we want to make it go backwards eight layers so it'll go behind the um the mouse pointer and everything so it'll just make your game look a bit more cleaner so go backwards eight layers eight layers and we want to show it. and same thing for the other one the bullet thing just drag and drop this into here like that so now you have the two things okay so now let's play the game so now we get the... and when the bat touches it as you can see we lost some score Okay, see, ouch, and we lost all of our score. See, as you can see, the game is working. So I'm gonna try to win right here. As you can see, it's not as easy you would, as you would think because the bats keep on spawning right here. And it can be quite annoying. We only have nine bullets left, eight now. Uh, let's see. Get these points okay as you can see when you get 20 score it says you win and right here we can actually set it to go to zero zero so then we'll stay in the center of the screen i forgot to do that so there you go um and let's say you just waste all your bullets so i'm just gonna waste all the bullets real quick okay so i just wasted all my bullets so let's just waste the rest and i'll say you lose as you can see so yeah so that's pretty much the save the turkey game if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and ring the notification bell as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.